our commands are generally case sensitive and they include the parentheses within the syntax as we have seen in the health section that if we want to calculate the mean then it will always calculate the arithmetic mean of the r object and object is augmented by the x so if we want to calculate the age of 10 persons we can assign the variable as age and we can calculate the mean value of the age uh, of that group by using the command prompt mean and in bracket we can write the age so every command has the three main parts number one is the command name it is followed by the parenthesis and in the end there will be a argument that is present in the bracket so here is the age is the value that is assigned to the argument x and it can be calculated by the mean bracket so as we have already seen that we can also add the argument such as the na.rm in the mean brackets and these arguments basically have the logical value and this argument na.rm it can be used as a true or false for a logical value and if the argument is true and this argument basically we take as a argument whether to add the missing values in the variables before calculating the mean so if the value is positive then the missing values they are removed and if the value is negative then we can add the missing values and we do not remove the, them so if we write the syntax like this the prompt mean age comma na dot rm it is if is equal to true then we will remove the missing values of the variables before calculating the mean and similarly we know that the commands they are case sensitive it means that we have to write the small letters if we want to write the mean then we have to write the small m small e a m n so if we write the capital letters for the mean capital m capital e a and capital n and we write the same syntax age dot na dot rm is equal to true then it will the r package will not be able to read that syntax due to the case sensitivity it is not always easy to guess what arguments each command takes in such cases it is best to consult the help page for the function and read the arguments part of the help page in addition it is often useful to read the test the examples from the help page in general for an argument that take numerical or logical values the arguments are given without quotation marks for arguments taking strings values need to be given within quotation marks for example command we have used mean in brackets does not need any string input and all its arguments are specified without quotation mark as we seen that prompt mean bracket age nar dot rm is equal to true and then trim is equal to 0.1 commands can also be tiled and it means that commands can be written one after another on the same line as long as number of parentheses is balanced our language has some important and useful functionalities and one of them is that we can retrieve the previous commands we have used and this functionality is important when we have to write the long codes and we have made some mistake or miss some elements in the syntax so instead of writing the code from the scratch we can just retrieve the last command and we can make 
changes where we have make some mistakes so we can retrieve the commands and for this purpose we can write in the prompt just history and two brackets so it will show up 30 to 40 last commands we have used we can also increase the number of commands we have used by using the code max.show we just write in the prompt history in the bracket we will write max.show is equal to 500 by using this code we can retrieve the last 500 commands we have used in addition to this we can add some additional packages in the R language and those packages we can add that are not installed in the default so we can select any of the additional package by using the command library and two brackets and for example if we want to add the specific package for classification and regression tree that is called the R part package we just write the syntax uh, as in the prompt we will write the library and in the bracket we will write the R part so it will install the package that will analyze the classification and regression tree and similarly we can also we can also see the number of packages that have been installed in the R language if you want to see the total number of packages we can just write in the prompt is the session info and then two brackets so it will show all the packages that have been installed in the R language 